Families living in these rental homes here on Ivy Court in Groton are being forced out of their home, many of whom have lived here for years and are now scrambling to find an affordable place to live and may have to leave town after they were sent a letter saying they have 30 days to move out or be evicted just because. Because each one of those houses on Ivy Court has three or four children in there. They have elders in there, 60, 70. From 8 to 80, everyone has been affected here. Emotions running high as families question what their future holds after their leases weren't being renewed. Of course, we were in a tizzy, like, where am I going? We've been here for eight years. My kids go to school at the Groton School Systems, um, and we were just in shock. With the 30 days coming to an end this week, some are turning to the courts to get extra time. Some town leaders are looking to see if they could make a change at the local level. We're looking at ways as a town to um, maybe enact if an ordinance is possible. I'm not sure I'm doing more research, but a way that we can say that you need at least a 90 day notice, a 30 day notice to get out of uh, what is an affordable housing to find affordable housing when there's not any is not enough time. Ehlers was lucky enough to find a place in town for her family to live, but residents say this highlights the need for more affordable housing near the shoreline. I need affordable housing. There isn't any. In the search these last couple weeks, there are none. Advocates say this is a growing trend across the state and it's mostly impacting people of color. Now it's really coming home to Connecticut, uh, a process of gentrification where, you know, historically black and brown neighborhoods are being displaced. People are being forced out of their own hometowns in order to bring in higher income and higher paying renters um, and also just to take advantage of the extremely tight rental market that all renters in the state are facing. Tenants rallied over the weekend calling on state lawmakers to expand protections. Connecticut currently protects a small number of tenants from this kind of forced displacement through our current just cause law, but most of us are vulnerable to this kind of, you know, um, sudden uprooting of our lives and being pushed out of our neighborhoods through no fault evictions. Senate Bill 143 would prohibit these types of evictions from happening again, but the General Assembly has just days left to get it passed, which will be a little too late for the folks who live on Ivy Court. It's absolutely devastating that this happened. Um, there's so many families that are suffering. In Groton, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.